Yo! So, I'm having a problem with my temperature. So, what I've decided to do is wire it directly. That way it will run constantly. I wanted to run it to my green cruise control button. However, I don't really feel like doing that. So I went and talked to my guys over at O'Reilly's and they recommended doing this because it already comes with a relay. Everything is sheathed really nice. Uh, it was 20 bucks. Pre-wired harness kit for 12 volt auxiliary lamps. And then he said just, you know, wire it to my fan. Fan battery. And that's it. And then run the button to the inside. So that's what we're doing today. So we're going to try to open this as nice as possible. That way if something is in here I don't like, we can return it. Try not to cut any of these wires. This is like a brand new knife, I'm trying to go so easy. There we go. Alright, let's see what comes in the box. Well, it's all kind of jumbled together actually. Alright, we're just going to pull it all out. So this looks like what I'm going to wire directly up to the fan here. Here's the relay with the fuse. This looks like a ground wire. This looks like a ground wire. And then this does come with a little sticky on the back. I don't know if I'm going to do that, where I'm going to put it exactly. But it is color indicated, which is very nice. Alright, let's try this out. So here's the switch. I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect this for now. So we don't f*** up. And I just want this black wire showing. Get a coat hanger, let it out, tape this to here, put some electrical tape, and then push it through the firewall. Right. Got it all taped up here. A little bit of the stick sticking out before the fuse. Button, whatever you want to call it. So, battery, fuse box. There's a ground right under these wires. I went ahead and decided to unscrew it and just run this through the bolt so it's grounded and I'm going to run the other ground if I can find it now oh yeah it's on this uh, fuse box here this one's going to get run there also but I'm just going in order so ran through the firewall haven't plugged it in yet ran through here grounded now I need to wire this up for power for that light that's on the switch which I'll probably just see about running it inside and connecting it to that cruise control button I guess or I'll just connect it here I don't think it matters all right so what we did we just took the let me get that camera and make sure you guys look good there you go Got the two radiator wires coming out. I just cut the black, spliced in the black, cut the blue, spliced in the white. Now normally this would just be one for the headlight and then this would be the other. But we're just gonna tuck this one because if we wanna use this in a future reference for maybe another fan on the front. Well, let me go ahead and explain why I did this way. The way I did this one, the 
reason why I did it this way is because if I forget and I accidentally turn the fan off, it will still get the signal up and down through here saying it's hot through the thermostat and that'll give me a chance to perhaps not get too hot. All right, but now we're gonna end up taping all this up. We're gonna shrink wrap this and then tape it all together. That way it has an extra layer. We'll grab this, we'll fold it in half like this. We're gonna tape all this really finely. guess what I got it so I'll walk y'all through everything because I had to do a little bit of troubleshooting because there was one wire I didn't know what it did I mean I knew what it did but I wasn't sure exactly so I called and made sure I was right so huh. I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited all right yeah turn that down so like I was telling you guys I spliced into the fan wires so that way the thermostat sensor will still work in case I forget to turn it on or something or my friends driving my car it will still turn on they'll know they'll hear it root the wires back behind here hit them all it's got this really nice black sheathing okay I went ahead and just tucked the second secondary auxiliary wire which would normally run to the other light you run the double black which is one ground for each of the auxiliaries grounded I have the major power for the fuse and the relay there is this little small red wire which goes to the actual light on the switch that gives the switch power it's very like 12 volts or something really small and then you ground all the other black wire so there's a, a black ground for the switch a black ground for the fuse and a black ground for the auxiliaries all right one more time splice in ground all three blacks white and the small red to the battery root everything through the cab pull all the excess you don't need and show you guys oh right there ready my car is off right now there's no key in it but guess what fans on all right guys Y'all enjoy, have fun, now put your car back together.